Welcome. Uh, today I'm going to do a review on the Bison uh, Baby Pink Red Lip Tint. And they have this in uh, three colors. They have an orange tint, a pink tint, and um, this baby pink uh, red lip tint. Um, so to go along with this look, I don't know if you can tell, I kind of did a Korean inspired face. Um, I don't think it shows up that much on camera, but oh well. Anyways, um, so this is a lip tint. Um, this is actually a Japanese brand, and um, I got this at, at an Asian store, and it was around like eight, it was around like eight or nine bucks, uh, with tax. Um, so yeah, but it was actually, um, some of the cheaper ones that I found in that Asian store. Anyways, so let's get started. Okay, so this tent um, is very interesting. So I don't have it on my lips. I'm going to apply it, but this tent it um, it it stays on forever and ever. Like the only way that I've been able to remove this color um, is by just having the dead skin cells of my lips come off. Um, otherwise it stays on. It stays for like at least like two or three days. Um, like you, you'll still get some of the product and you can't remove it for some reason. Now, if you, um, put something underneath your lips, like a chapstick or so, then, um, the stain will come off because if you put the chapstick on, then it doesn't like actually really, it's like a barrier. Um, so I will show you that. Um, so I have here this, um, this lip pencil, and, um, it's, it's a lip pencil that's supposed to grab onto lip gloss, and it's supposed to make your lip gloss stay and last longer. Um, so I'm going to just draw a square on my, uh, on my hand. And I'm going to fill that square in. I don't know if you can... You can't tell where it is, um, but you will be able to. And the point of this is just to show how weird this stain is. So if I... So this is a swatch of it. I kind of don't know where... Um, I put the square, oh, there it is. So here is a swatch of the stain. Now, as you see, that is the square that I put on with my Urban Decay. So, so if I were to put this on my lips, I'd probably like dab it around like this. And as you see, like there's, there's kind of a faint square. So this, um, is, and then... If I rub it, then you can see where the square is of where um, the lip liner uh, was. And this is impossible to remove once it is dry. And so if I remove this, or if I try to remove it... See, only the part where the I put the lip liner, um, only that area... Um, is removed otherwise this thing is not gonna come off um, or like it'll it'll be very difficult to get all traces of it off um, so yeah so that's that here let me use my normal makeup remover routine let me just use some Vaseline try and rub it off And, like, I can try to get some remnants of it off, but as you see, like, most of it is still on there. And that's... That's the thing I have with this product. But, I mean, it's a nice shade, so I don't, I don't mind too much. So let me apply it to my lips, and, um... Let me show you what it looks like. So usually they use a gradient effect for these lip stains, and so you want to apply it with your fingers once you get it on there. 
And so my lip currently does not have any um, chapstick on it whatsoever. Otherwise the product may not last, uh, may not stick to my skin if I did. So for this, it's important to just like moisturize your lips beforehand. And it looks kind of different on camera than it does in person. I feel like it lightens my lips a little bit, like my upper lips a little bit, and then makes it red. But it looks very, <coughs> it looks much redder um, on camera. I'll just put some more in the center here. So there you have it, a light gradient effect. And on camera, it looks it looks much redder, like uh, but in in person, it's it's a softer kind of red. Maybe it's Maybe it's how the light reflects off of it or, or whatever. Anyways, there it is. Um, I will say that when you put this on at first, it does have kind of a bitter taste. So you do not want to be licking your lips after you put this on. Um, after like it's all settled in and it's dry and stuff, then, um, then, then you won't feel anything. But, so this color will basically be on my lips for, like, at least a complete day, and then, like, you'll still see the remnants of it, like, two or three days later. And even if I try and scrub to get all of it off, I will not be able to. Um, so that's that. Another thing about this is that, like, this is a lip stain, and it stains. Like, it is really hard for me to get this out. So like when I'm applying it with my fingers. So usually I'll I'll use a sponge to um to smooth it around or so. Um but actually I really do like this color because it gives you a very natural um stain. Um so it so so I so I do like it. Anyways, that's my review for the baby pink lip tint. I do like this product. I think it's something that you can easily use in your like everyday life. You can um, drink, you can eat, you can kiss, you can do whatever with this in this lip stain and it will not budge. Like, nothing. Not up. Like, this is a stain 100%. Um, so that is my review for this product. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you later.